and low wordpress people so in this video we are going to talk about how to get posts or any other post type by metadata in the rest api so by default rest api doesn't provide a list of post by metadata so what does it mean by metadata so for example this is my local wordpress site and in the post i have created a new custom field so let me show you that custom field so this is the custom field are you okay and i am storing the data yes or no so let me store this so let's say i want a list of post which says are you okay yes so in the web it is possible but in the rest api uh, by default it is not possible so let me show you that so i have added this column over here and this filter are you okay yes so if you don't know how to create this column and filter i have already created a video regarding this so link is into the description section now uh, if i say yes and filter so i will get only result which says are you okay yes okay so if i open the code regarding this so i added this code in my custom plugin so i will go to plugins my plugin includes admin.php so as you can see i added this as a meta query so for web it is possible just pass the meta query argument to the existing uh, query i explained this in my previous video so please go and watch out if you don't understand otherwise keep watching this video so now if we go to rest api i will open the official doc and i will click on list post so if you see the arguments then there is no default argument provided by this api so that we can get a result from the metadata so before running this api let me show you the metadata how it's stored in the database so this this post id is 26902 you can see the at the bottom left so 26902 so i will go to my wordpress database i will search for the posts meta table and I will search for that ID two six nine zero two two six nine zero two and here is the meta key are you okay and meta value is yes 
So we are going to use this meta key and meta value. So um, now let's get back to this list post API. So I'm gonna run this API into the postman. So I'm gonna add my local host. And it's a get method, so I will keep this as a get get method. So as you can see, um, we get all the list of posts here. Now what we are going to do is when we pass when we pass sorry. When we pass, are you okay? Equal, equal to yes, and send the request. Then we will get the same result as we get over here. We should get these two results when we do this. So, how does it possible in the REST API? Before jumping into the code, if you are new to Gutenberg development, then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com. This has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor. So please go and check out this site. Thank you. So for that, we have to use a hook and this is the hook rest underscore post type query so this is dependent on the post type on which post type you want to do this so as of now i'm gonna do this for the default post query so this is the official document for this filter rest post type query it has two arguments so now let's use this to uh, this filter in my custom plugin again so I'm gonna open this class custom api.php okay leave it not class but uh, so let me open this custom filter action filter dot php and i'm gonna go to the bottom of the file and now i'm gonna use this and filter I will replace this with default post post type. It has two argument two arguments one is args so this is the arg which pass for a WP query so if you don't know what WP query then I have created a playlist for WP query link is into the description section and the second argument is the rest request so now i'm gonna return args so before doing 
anything into this function let me show you what we get in the args and I'm gonna run this API again <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, we have to pass the number of argument here because we passed two arguments and we haven't provided in the hook how many arguments we are passing. Now it should be fine. So let's see what we get in the argument so we get the same array we pass into the wp query so let me show you the wp query first So this is how WP query we write and in this query we pass this argument. So this is the same argument which we are getting over here. So this is the array of argument. So in this argument if we want to get a result from the custom field then we have to use this type of um, array we have to use a meta query so let me show you that so here is the meta query and it's a multi-dimensional array so in the meta query whatever meta key value pair we want to get result from we have to pass that so in our case our key will be are you okay and the value will be yes or no and comparison will be equal to so let's do the same for this so we have to pass meta query in this so when do we need to pass meta query so when we get are you okay get param and whatever name we add over here copy that we have to pass so let's try to check if we get are you okay over here or not so let's send it again again something went wrong okay spelling wrong it should be get param so as you can see we get yes over here let's confirm by changing a value we should be getting yes one so now we are getting this value so what we can do is if not empty 
are you okay then we are going to add args of meta query equal to array and there is another array inside array so I'm gonna add array again and in this array we are going to pass this key value compare and key will be this are you okay value will be this whatever we get over here and comparison will be equal to so now let's check this printing this uh, array by printing so I'm gonna send it so if we check the argument we are now getting our meta query key are you okay yes compare equal to so that should be enough now let me remove this and check the result so we should be getting these two results so let's check So first is um, what is next JS? Okay, okay. And another one is uh, Ramayana by API. Ramayana by API. So this is how we can filter our result from the meta key and meta value in the rest api you can do as, as per your requirement i just showed you the simple example <laughs> and this is the video if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section and the repo i showed you here is available on the github so link is into the description section Thanks for watching the video guys.